assalamu alaikum and welcome to this video on uh, master items uh, in click sense so the default view of the fields uh, contains all the fields together that is the dimensions and the measures and we have been drawing the charts using uh, data from this fields uh, column or the fields option the master items actually allows me to <clears throat> create or include dimensions from this field uh, or and measures and also visualizations uh, which are most important for me so if i expect to use some dimensions across all the charts or most of the charts and some measures i want to create which i want to use in maybe 50 to 60% of the charts that i create uh, on this uh, on this uh, on this panel uh, then I will put them in the master items. Uh, that means that they are the most important of my data. For example, like in the in the case of companies, you have the master data, which is your most reliable, most clean, and most updated data. Uh, so in the same way, we can have the master dimensions, measures, and visualizations. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, you know uh, include data in these options. So uh, for the dimensions, we can just uh, include the uh, the ones which are most important for us. So I'll click on the brand. So I'll just include it as it is. So the name I will name the, uh, keep it the same. I can also put an expression here, uh, but currently I'm not uh, putting the expression in this case. I'll put that for the measures. So I'll just go and, and click on create and you can see that brand is added here. And uh, then obviously uh, I can also click on countries. It's a geographical variable. I can create that as well. Uh, and then we have seen that the dosage form is something which is uh, important for us. So we also go ahead and include that. Uh, and then obviously there's also this manufacturing site, uh, which is important for the uh, supply chain. And we have also been working with the shipment mode uh, in most of the graphs. So I'll just create that as well. And then I want to include these two dates. Uh, one is the client delivery date. Uh, so in, in this case, if there's all there's already an hierarchy, there's already a hierarchy here, uh, which I can use. Uh, so uh, in this currently what these five uh, dimensions that I've created are basically single dimensions. But if I want to create a hierarchy in which I want to drill down, then obviously I have to create uh, the drill down uh, dimension. So in this case, uh, this will give me the option to include several fields together. So let's say, first of all, I go ahead with year, quarter, month, week, and uh, the date. So I, uh, I have these five levels here, so they are defined here. So these are, it extracts this data uh, automatically. I can also include the function here, just year function, I can use the year function. But as I have this inbuilt variable, so I'll just go ahead with that. So this is the year, uh, quarter, month, week, and then the final uh, date. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and create that. Oh, so I have to give it a name. So I'll just say, okay, uh, deliver date, deliver to client. Okay, something like that. So I'll just create. You can see that here there's a hierarchy, uh, a hierarchical dimension is created. And I'll do the same for the uh, scheduled date, the scheduled delivery date, because I, I want to, uh, you know, these two, these two dates are important. So I'll just uh, make the same year, quarter, month, week, and then date. So I will say, okay, Scheduled client date, something like that. I just go ahead and create that. So I can see now I have this variable here. So I will just close this now. So I have created these dimensions. Now on to the measures. Uh, there are some measures that I want to include by default, which are, for example, the uh, feed cost. So I'll just, uh, when it's right here, so I'll just include this equals to feed cost. I'll click on apply and create. Okay. And similarly, uh, uh, this item called line item value. So 
if I want to include inactive value, there's another option here. So I'll just uh, cancel from here. I'll go to the fields and uh, I'll just say line item value, double uh, right click, and I will say create measure. So it's going to create this measure as I did. So apply and create. So it's going to create in the same way. So if I added that, so it's written here like this equals to, uh, it's just line item value. And uh, in my case, uh, edit. So it's equivalent to feed cost. So it's the same thing. Uh, okay. And then I want to create, uh, let's say, uh, three more variables. So one is the line item value uh, per $1 of insurance. So how, how much is the line item value per dollar uh, for the insurance? So for that, I'll go ahead and this, I'll just say LIV per insurance. And for this, I'll just say K, uh, some, because we're gonna be analyzing this across a dimension. So for any dimensional uh, setting, for example, if I, uh, if I calculate this for a country, dimension, then for each country, this formula will be applied that I will sum up the total uh, line item value. And obviously I will divide that uh, by the total line item insurance for that particular country. So for each country, this formula is going to be applied. So it's okay here. So I'll just click on apply and I will create this. So it's created here. Um, and similarly, I want to do that for weight as well. Line item value per weight. And uh, I'll just, uh, Say uh, so. No, what about that? Some line item value by some of weight because the, both of these are numerical uh, attributes. So I can write this from so It's okay. And then I'll want to create. So it's created here. So I want to create another one which is called the delivery delay. So in this case, uh, what I will do is that. Um, so uh, I will, first of all, I will just say sum of the scheduled um, scheduled delivery date minus the uh, client delivery date. That's going to give me a number divided by a count of this. Uh, it's just like an average. So this is this this formula is going to be calculated across the uh, each of the. Uh, for each country or each, you know, each value of the dimension that I select. So for each dimensional value or each uh, string value of a particular dimension. So I'm going to calculate the delivery delay like this. So I'm going to total up the, you know, uh, total up the delivery delays for that particular value and divide that by, by the number of instances that have occurred. So that's the apply case. So I just click on uh, create. So here we are, we are done with creation of uh, the dimensions and the measures. So thanks for watching this video. In the next video, we'll be tackling the master visualizations.